Oh, with no. love. Uh, okay. Yes. Well, he thought, well, maybe could it be a gallstone or something like that rather than a muscle? Uh, that I can't tell you. It sounds like a muscle to me. A gallstone would, it doesn't sound like it would be a gallstone. Does he have any digestive symptoms? No, he, he don't have no stomach problems. Yeah, whatsoever. no. It sounds like a muscle. It sounds like he did something muscularly. And yeah. it sounds like just general connective tissue in the muscle tissue is breaking down, which is understandable, you know? Okay, Pat, I got to move. Thank you so much okay, for your call. You. God bless Bye. you. Good luck with everything. All right, Denise in Santa Cruz, what's up? Denise. Take on my uh, meniscus. It's gradually been getting more painful to walk and certain movements, uh, sometimes lifting, just how, how old are you, Denise? How old are you? I'm 59. Fifth happy birthday, I think. Is yeah. your birthday coming up? Or did you um, just have? October, just, I'll be I, 60. You uh, okay, I missed your birthday. Well, happy, happy belated. <laughs> um, anyway, so did you hurt it? Did you injure it somehow, or it's just kind of no. degenerating? Yeah, Never just injured it and same as this other guy, same as the guy we were just yeah, talking to. Exactly. Same deal. My ears were perking up with him. So same deal. Up. And I forgot to oh, mention the glucogel caps. Those can be also very helpful. The glucogel no, caps with. I, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, like, man. What three three times a day uh, or something? Yeah, like three three times a day. But always make sure you take your glucogel with your Beyond Tangy. The okay. vitamin C from the Beyond Tangy turns on the uh, activates the glucogel caps. So oh. do those together. Do those together, and ex almost exactly what I just told the other gentleman. Eliminate inflammation, and that means problem mm -hmm. foods, so do all the digestive mm -hmm. things. Sugar is inflammatory, so reduce that. Replace it with yeah. protein connect, and uh, 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 essential fatty acids and digestive enzymes, ultimate enzymes. And you know what else, Denise? Do some leg exercises. Mm -hmm. get, in, get in the gym. Oh. Now, the meniscus is tricky. The meniscus is tricky depending on its degree of tear because cartilage, a lot of people tell you the cartilage doesn't regrow, blah, blah, blah. It's not true. But what is true is cartilage doesn't have a lot of blood supply. So you really got to pound the nutrition to regenerate or rebuild cartilage. You can do it still, but you got to pound the nutrition because there's not a lot of su blood supply to cartilage tissue. Does that make sense? You follow oh, me? Oh, yes, it does. So you got to do yes. lots of it, lots, especially yeah, lots of... I'm not of, willing to give up my gym. I go three, good. four times a week. And good deal. I active to begin with you know well I'll focus on the knee focus on the, and the knee is a horrible right. joint by the way you know evolution's oh, perfect but yeah. it's still working on the knee do you ever do you ever tear your knee up by the way that is some amazing pain that's indescribable pain if you ever oh. do anything to your knee oh my god I cannot oh, even I begin to describe to either. <laughs> it's unbelievable all right Denise I gotta move thanks for Take thanks for your call we'll talk soon okay bye Joe in Texas what's going on welcome to How the bright doing, side sir? Doing good. What's going on? Right. How can we help you? Uh, I know you're running out of time. Yeah, Two running things. out. One of them is you talked one time about um, um, uh, chicken soup, and you said that the skin and, and oil and the yeah. stuff was really um, nutritious. Good. Yes. I've been I've been saving the fat that Ooh. accumulates after I drain it. Okay. And I use that for cooking. Uh, is it a good clean bird? Hormone free yeah. antibody. Good clean bird. Hormone free. Well, I, I don't know about how clean, but you know. Yeah, that's a problem. That's I wouldn't do it personally because you're concentrating the poison, the hormones, the, all the stuff goes in the fat. So that's why you got to use a clean bird. When I say do the fat and do the bone soup, I'm talking clean bird because you're concentrating the poison in the water and in the fat. I wouldn't personally. I mean, you could, okay. I suppose, but I wouldn't. You know, yeah, just because I, 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 I tried it out for a while using a little. Theoretically, it's a good idea, though, Joe. You're you're on the right track. Theoretically, it's a good idea, but I don't I don't know if I would do it with a with a hormone if you're using a chicken that's got hormones and antibiotics and whatever else they give the birds. Okay. Okay, buddy. Uh, the last question. I, I yeah. have a uh, I have a taste. I mean, uh, uh, a little bit of uh, asbestos. I don't okay. have the mesothelioma, but it's asbestos. Anything okay. that I could do to curb that a little bit? Oh, lots you could do. Chelation therapy. Find a naturopath who can do chelation therapy for you. That's one thing. The second thing you could do is lots of uh, nutrients that are specific for helping clear the body, uh, clear toxins out of the body and support the liver and detoxification. Vitamin C is your best friend. Your best friend. Personally, if you could find IV vitamin C, that's the way to go. But that's a little pricey and maybe difficult. Just take your Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day long. Sip on it. Vitamin E ridiculously detoxifying, especially for the lungs. By the way, for, for smokers out there, you want to make sure you're doing both vitamin C and vitamin E. They're critical for lung health. Uh, uh, 400 IU of a mixed 
vitamin E, M-I-X-E-D, mixed. Uh, NAC, NAC, really good for the lungs. Selenium, really important for lung health. Essential fatty acids, really important for lung health. And then uh, don't forget about the basics because the more crap that's in your blood, the harder it's going to be for your lungs to heal and for you to heal and to regenerate. So you got to keep the crap from coming into the blood through the digestive system, and that means eating less food, eating better, patching up the gut, all the things we talk about every day here. All right, Joe, I got to move. Thank you so much for your call, hey, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, Carl. Is this Carl the Truth Raider, Carl? Hey, Ben. What's I up, like your, man? your wits end concerning the medical model. I, I'm just pissed. You know, after seeing the debate yesterday, I got real. Did you watch it? I don't know if you watched um, those things, but yeah, they used to much. be funny. They used to be entertaining. They're, yeah. now, they're, now Trump thinks he's serious. Now, he's, yeah. <laughs> now he thinks he's a real, real boy. Right, <laughs> right. He's not like a toy or like a cartoon anymore. It was yeah, so funny. He's a, he's a figure out there for, for the fizz, megalomania. Uh, feedings, I believe. Anyway, the question today is restless leg syndrome. What are the key nutrients I need? Yeah, that's a great question. It? It's an electrical issue. Remember, there's the electrical nutrients and there's the quick acting nutrients and the, then there's the long term nutrients. Your fatty nutrients, your DEEK, vitamin D, E, A, and K, DEEK, essential fatty acids, some of the minerals, those are fatty and they're for long term, for building. Uh, then there's the electrical nutrients, i.e. electrolytes, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sodium, uh, B vitamins, vitamin C. They're electrical. They're for quick things. Restless leg syndrome is a crampy. It's a, it's a, a manifestation of cramping. And there's a change in the electric. It's caused by changing the electrical energy into the muscle. So you're dealing with electricity. For restless leg syndrome, beyond tangy tangerine, especially before bed, most people will have it, uh, their condition at night. So before bed, make sure you're sipping on the BTT. And I don't know how much, you know, you're going to have to decide how much for yourself. You're going to have to see how it works. You can also do vegetable juices. Those are great sources of the B vitamins and electrolytes. Lemon juice. Talked to a gal yesterday about lemon. Lemon is a great, great source of electrolytes. Think electrolytes, B vitamins, vitamin C, especially before bed. I want to get one more call in, uh, Carl, okay? Thanks for your call, man. Okay, Robert in Colorado, you got the last word. What's up, buddy? Another day in paradise, Ben. Thank you very right. much for taking my call. Good to talk um, to you. I'm, yeah, yeah. I've got a lady that I'm meeting with on Saturday. She's finally fed up with taking... Uh, did you send me a text? Oh, was that you sending yeah, I did. me? That was you. Okay, good. It's got it. Yeah, yeah, that was me. Sorry. Okay, no worries. No worries. <laughs> but uh, so, she's got... She's like 42. She's 120 pounds. Fibromyalgia is what they're saying. All right, here. Okay, let me give you the quick answer, and then why don't you call me later? We'll talk more. All right. Here's the quick okay. answer. Fibromyalgia, think gut. Think probiotics, think essential fatty acids, and female hormones. That means your nightly essence, correct digestive health issues, uh, make sure that you're using everything to, uh, to keep the gut healthy with that is fiber and, and vegetables and fermented foods in addition to the nightly essence. And then essential fatty acids, make sure you're doing your EFAs. And it wouldn't hurt to do a little progesterone cream either. Magnesium and vitamin C also help uh, in terms of hormone health. So think hormones, think fats, think the digestive system for fibromyalgia. Thanks for your call, Robert. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.